I'm Michelle Crowley. I'm the EMS captain for the fire department for the city of Pasco. Um, we're here representing the city of Pasco's hot spotters program. I'm Becky Gross. I'm a registered nurse and the COO for Consistent Care Services. We're a social purpose corporation in Tri-Cities. We work with the local hospitals and, and health plans to help patients that overuse the emergency room. But Michelle and I are here today to support the city of Pasco in representing uh, three unique programs, one of which is the hot spotters program. So the Hotspotters program um, focuses on patients that um, not only overuse healthcare services, such as emergency rooms, repeat inpatient admissions, but it also focuses on patients that are in and out of jail, or patients that call 911 a lot, and use a lot of Michelle services, EMS services, or a lot of police encounters, a lot of jail um, visits. And so we focus on those folks um, and try to do wraparound services and identify what's their unique needs and bring all of us to the table. So Michelle, you've had a lot of um, a lot of changes with EMS. Yeah, as the population is growing, um, our EMS calls are going up and we're finding that we're going to a lot of calls that are non-acute. And when these people are calling 911 for their medical needs, we're finding, the, the fire department's finding out that we need to go a little deeper and find out exactly why are they calling 911. And it's not just about picking up someone and dropping them off at the emergency room anymore. It's finding out really what are their needs and then finding resources like Becky Gross to help us connect the dots and find the resources for those patients. So we do a lot of outreach. We are partnering, we have a community health workers that actually go into folks' homes. We see them in jail before they're released. Uh, we're, we see them in the shelters at the mission. Um, in the parks, wherever they happen to be, and just sit down and develop a relationship with them and try to figure out you know, what do they need. Sometimes it's not health care, sometimes it's they need food or they need help finding housing, those sort of things. So it's, it's really about wrapping uh, services all around them and based on what their unique needs are. It's important for the fire department to help people that are in need. We have our troops out in the field. They're seeing a lot of things that even you and I probably aren't seeing. They're reporting back to us, and so we really can't do it without our first responders, fire and police. It's everybody coming together. Yep.